He felt his body flood with emotion as he noticed something terrible. He felt like what had happened was evil, and whoever was responsible would pay dearly for it. He balled up his fists as he saw his daughter's tear-stained face. It was supposed to be the perfect day for his special girl. But now, things had been ruined and couldn't be taken back. He could see tears rolling down the face of his daughter. As any dad would be, he was angry. Peering over the fence only made it worse. Seeing his neighbor's guilty grins, he felt terrible for them. Everything was ruined because of them. It was a waste of time and effort, but he didn't comprehend why they were doing it. While his wife wanted to forget all of it and continue with the party, he couldn't. Despite Barry's wife's kindness, his colleagues saw his ferocious side. Nina had made him swear that he would never allow that side of him to return. In his vow, he promised to be a loving husband and father a few years later. Things were different now, however. There were no more hiccups during the party. They smirked at the ruin they had created as they sat back on their porch, satisfied with their work. It's what made Barry angry more than anything else. It seemed they had gotten away with what they had done, but he would make sure that ended soon. After a week, they had no more problems with their neighbors. For now, they were satisfied with what they had accomplished. He hadn't forgotten, though. For the sake of his family, he pretended to forget and move on. He snuck inside his workshop every night when he had an hour to himself. He had to finish it. The ugly couple had never hurt his family before, so he knew that if his plan worked, they would never do so again. It was just a matter of putting his ingenuity to good use. They did not know what kind of man he was if he had to play ugly. As far as they knew, suburban dads were the only people they had seen. There was now going to be a performance by the Pitbull. Eventually, his obsession escalated, and he spent sleepless nights working secretly on his project. They would regret what they had done if he made sure they regretted it. He spent more time on it than I expected, but it paid off. It wouldn't be long before he had his creation operational. It wasn't clear whether it would work or not. He dragged it out to his garage after it was finished. He knew his neighbors would never be able to enjoy peace again. It would send a message to them to stop bothering him in the future. The neighbor tasted their own medicine when he opened the garage door. This time, it would be him who smirked. It would have been better for the dad to turn the other cheek and reassure his daughter. What kind of example did he set if he didn't show her the consequences of her actions? It was a different view of him at work than when he was the doting dad at home. There was even a dreaded nickname for them, the Pitbull. Everything seemed to be planned out to Barry. He worked hard to ensure his daughter had the best birthday party possible. Nina, his wife, even set up decorations and balloons, but they had no idea what would happen. It was Evelyn's party that she was looking forward to. Despite being a memorable day, it was the wrong kind. The Arlington family is happily in the suburbs. Barry and his wife Nina had moved in four years prior, but they had no idea what kind of neighbors they were going to have. Soon after moving, they learned that the elderly couple was out to get them. They'd complain about her daughter playing in her own yard alongside other ridiculous things, but one day they'd do something desperate. Evelyn was about to turn eight, and her parents were going to celebrate it in style. It was a sunny day, and everyone was looking forward to a perfect day. Barry even made sure the yard looked perfect, but his neighbors had other ideas. One by one, kids and their parents started arriving. It was going to be a classic backyard barbecue. No one knew they were being watched. Everyone was having a good time in the backyard when Barry heard something. It was a voice that he hadn't invited. It was his old neighbor, and he was peering over the wall. Keep it down so I can enjoy some peace and quiet. Tell your kids to shut up the old man hollered. It made Barry angry. Barry thought the old man would give up after seeing that it was a party. They continued on schedule and brought out the presents for their daughter to open. Evelyn's eyes grew wide when she saw what her grandma had gotten her a rubber ball. The children started playing with the ball in the yard while the parents watched, but then tragedy struck. The kids knocked the ball too high, and it went straight over the wall into the neighbor's yard. The old man's wife bent down and picked it up with a smile. Evelyn hoped she would throw it back, but she was wrong. While the wife stood with the ball, the old man was busy getting something from their shed. When he came out, he had something in his hand. The old man stared at Barry with a wicked smile as he took the ball from his wife. He then showed what he had taken from the shed a screwdriver. Everyone could guess what he was going to do. 
He raised it, and as he drove it down, Barry heard his daughter scream out. He plunged the screwdriver into the rubber ball. Evelyn dropped to her knees and frowned. It only took a few moments for the sobbing to begin. Her mother consoled her and tried to take her attention away from the nasty neighbors. But Barry, on the other hand, was already coming up with a plan. He had never been so angry in his life. Barry didn't calm down as time went on. He wanted to make sure that the old couple never enjoyed their backyard again. Barry had never been so angry in his life. He wasn't about to just let it go. They had ruined his little girl's birthday. Now they would have to live with the consequences. His plan was simple. He could see the neighbor's porch from his yard. Every time the miserable old couple came outside, he was ready. The party went on without any more hitches. The old couple was satisfied with what they had done and were now sitting back on their porch, smirking at the ruin they had created. It's what made Barry more angry than anything else. They thought they had gotten away with what they had done, but he'd make sure that ended soon enough. A week went by without any more problems from their neighbors. They were satisfied with what they had done for now. But Barry hadn't forgotten. He pretended to forget it and move on for the sake of his family. But every night, when he had an extra hour by himself, he snuck inside his workshop, trying to figure something out. It was a gamble, but if his plan worked, he knew that the ugly couple would never hurt his family again. He just had to make sure that he used his ingenuity in the right places. He could play ugly if it came down to it, and they had no idea what kind of man they were dealing with. They had only seen a suburban dad. Now they were going to see the pit bull. Soon, his obsession escalated, and it went from an extra hour every day to sleepless nights spent working on his project in secret. He was going to make sure that they regretted what they had done. But the extra time spent on it paid off. He would soon have his creation up and running, but he had no idea if it would work. After it was finally finished, he dragged it out to his garage. He knew that it would make sure his neighbors never enjoyed peace and quiet again. They would get the message never to bother him again. He opened his garage door and got ready to give the neighbors a taste of their own medicine. He would be the one smirking this time. Barry thought carefully about all the ways he could make his insufferable neighbors' lives a living hell. He thought about everything from poisoning their lawn to other, more harmful measures. But he wasn't a fool he knew that he couldn't do anything drastic or illegal, so he decided to be an annoyance instead. He'd teach them to make his daughter cry. Every time Barry saw the neighbors sitting on their porch, he'd go to his garage and gleefully fire up his air compressor. Then, he'd make a racket with his gas leaf blower in the yard. At first, the neighbors would complain, but they couldn't compete with the noise. Every day, Barry would watch the porch and wait for them. It worked every single time. They were furious. But his creation was even better. The air compressor went hand in hand with the contraption that he had made. He had created a device that plugged into the air compressor so that he could complete it remotely. Whenever he saw them on their porch trying to enjoy themselves, he decided to go to the app on his phone and turn on the compressor remotely. He loved watching their expressions. Barry was obsessed with getting payback, but he could bide his time. He'd do it until the couple died or moved out if he had to. He would be a constant reminder of their unacceptable behavior, and he'd never let it go. They soon realized that they had made a huge mistake when they crossed him. Barry continued with his noisy regime for years. True to his word, he never let Bernard and his wife enjoy their backyard ever again. He didn't even pretend that he was doing anything other than making as much noise as he could every time they set foot outside, and every time he'd drive those miserable neighbors right back into their house. But the man had no idea that his childish revenge was going to cost him a lot in the long run. He was underestimating the couple's devious ways and what they'd resort to. He thought he had won and that they'd never bother him or his daughter again. But he was dead wrong. He had no idea what they'd do when things got desperate. The old couple, finally sick of everything that Barry had done, wouldn't stand for it anymore. They knew that Barry would never stop it. It seemed that even the local cops were on his side. Finally, they decided to do something about it. They packed up shop and finally moved out of the neighborhood. Barry couldn't believe he and his family would finally be happy. 